The United Nations is downplaying recent comments made by Secretary General Antonio Guterres that seem to support the flawed Seoul Tokyo Agreement on Japan's sexual enslavement of Korean women during World War II. In response, Korea's foreign ministry said the two sides should work together wisely uh, to reach a compromise. Connie Kim has this report. The United Nations is clarifying Japanese media reports that say the UN Secretary General has expressed support for a landmark agreement between Seoul and Tokyo over Japan's wartime sex slavery issue. On the sidelines of the G7 summit in Italy, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had stressed the importance of complying with the deal, while Secretary General Antonio Guterres said he supports and welcomes it. Responding to such reports, a U.N. spokesperson said Guterres agrees this is a matter to be solved by an agreement between the two countries. The Secretary General did not pronounce himself on the content of the agreement, but on the principle that it's up to both Korea and Japan to define the nature and the content of the solution for this issue. Under a new administration, Seoul's foreign ministry has for the first time stated its stance on the matter that the two governments should overcome the problem wisely through joint efforts, acknowledging the fact that the majority of the public doesn't approve the agreement. This is an echo of President Moon Jae-in's basic stance on the accord, which he underscored during his first phone conversation with his Japanese counterpart. And to support the new Korean administration's push, the UN Committee Against Torture this month recommended revising the deal, pointing that it failed to, quote, provide redress and repatriation, including compensation to the victims. Japan has rebutted the recommendation claiming the deal is final and irreversible and there is no evidence that victims were forced into sexual slavery, raising speculation the historical issue between the two sides will not be solved easily. Kim, Arirang News.